Hi Libra. Welcome to July. Ooh, cancer season. One of the main themes that I got for you before this when I was looking at the sky and when I was looking at um, all the aspects to it was this really strong sense of passion, putting your desires into action. And it's quite magnetic. It's quite, it's quite center stage. And it's funny because I think a lot of people are gonna want your time. I think a lot of people are gonna wanna know what you're doing. A lot of people are going to know what your plans are. A lot of people are going to be interested to know what you're going to do next. Because there's monumental change for you in terms of your career, in terms of your success, your fame, your public image, how you want to be perceived. And for a lot of you, that eclipse just passed on the 21st of June marks a monumental success. The accomplishment, the things that you've worked very hard on. And if you didn't feel anything just yet, that's okay. This is a six month cycle. There is another new moon in Cancer this month. There's also a lunar eclipse in Capricorn, your fourth house of security, of home, of family. So there could be big changes in terms of your residency. There could be big changes where you live, where you wanna live, there could be a move. There could also be a big change within your family dynamic. Unsurprisingly, the earth energy is sticking together <laughs> and this um, lunar eclipse is well aspected to Uranus in Taurus. Now Uranus in Taurus of course is your eighth house of intimacy. Ooh. So there could be very interesting changes going on there in terms of your intimate life, the vulnerable part of you that you give to your relationships. Judgment. I love judgment energy because I am a Scorpio and this is a Scorpio card. Judgment is when the unexpected has an air of, I should have known. And that's not a bad thing. It is when there are huge blasts of energy coming in from the past. It is when things are resurrected. It is when things are decided that have a big part to play in one's life. This is big energy, huge. So there are big changes going on for you as there are for all the cardinal signs. You're at center stage this month. The magician and the three of swords, you can turn your pain into power. So Mars is entering Aries. Your Mars, of course, rules your relationships and it's entering your opposite sign. And it's connecting with Chiron, the wounded healer. It is asking you to heal certain parts of yourself that you weren't really sure if they were still an issue. See, a lot of Libras that I know perceive themselves as exceptionally shallow, <laughs> or so they tell me. And even if your motives in some regard are superficial, they can hurt you a lot more than you realize. I think you know what I mean. The Magician and the Three of Swords is turning your pain into power where you have been disappointed where your heart has actually been broken, where you have felt that pain that made you think, I'm not so shallow, not shallow at all. There's nothing shallow about judgment, the three of swords and the magician. That's alchemy. That is resurrecting a dead relationship and making it work. That is finding the love that you thought you never could. That is healing a wound that goes very, very, very deep. You see, Libra is a sign, it is the air sign that rules the present tense, which is why for you guys, mindfulness is so important because you need to be in the moment. And a very obvious sign that a Libra is in trouble is when they live in the past or the future. When you're thinking too much about the future, you're anxious. When you're living in the past, you're depressed. And for a lot of you, there is a heartbreak somewhere in your life that has felt 
it has taken away a lot of your present peace. Mars connecting with Chiron is showing you where there is a bleed in your emotional life, where there's an energy bleed, where there is some belief or some feeling or some memory that is consistently making you make decisions on that basis. So, <laughs> Judgment, Three of Swords and the Magician, you are turning your pain into power, especially as far as love is concerned. And if you hear from an ex in the past that is a Gemini or a Virgo, there's a big decision to be made. Same if it's a Scorpio. So, Mercury is retrograding in Cancer until the 12th of July. And in this circumstance, Libra, it's to do with healing the parts of your reputation that you don't like so much. So, it's kind of trivial, but it's still true. When Mercury is retrograding in the 10th house, you can often revisit a few issues with work. And they're minute. They're not necessarily huge. It's about fact checking, detail checking. Um, just breathe through it. It's it's not that deep. You have real potential this month to make a go of something. I feel with the Magician and the Three of Swords, you really have the power to turn around um, a, an unhealthy emotional situation for your greater good or for the greater good of everybody involved in the situation. It's almost as if <laughs> it's almost as if you have taken a decided action to heal something. So it's funny that the axis for you is occurring in your fourth house and your tenth house because that is the father mother dynamic. And Aries is experiencing this too, and it's being felt on a global level. Um, Reparenting yourself and understanding the dynamic that you have with your parents is quite important. Understanding the relationship that you have with your family is quite important. Um, a lot of things there, because I feel, I feel as if there's a strong sense that people are asking you a lot of questions and not knowing the answers is quite frustrating. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I feel like there's a lot of people who want to know what you're up to this month and I feel that you not having the answers is quite frustrating in some ways. But I digress. There is a lot of putting your desire into action. So here's what I'm getting at. The Magician and the Ace of Wands. Putting your desires into action. Putting your energy out there. Sending out your rockets of desire as Abraham Hicks would call them. And then doing nothing. Four of Swords, you also need to remember to rest. That fourth house energy of Capricorn, Saturn moving back into Capricorn, is very much to do with a little bit of respite. You have, since 2017, been at odds with your need to rest. Been at odds with self-care. And I remember reading in a book when I was very, very young that Libra's really do relax uh, relaxation well and not at the minute you know you you really want to progress you really want to move you really want to make things happen i feel like there's a guilt sometimes for just doing nothing and you need to trust that a lot of stuff happens behind the scenes that you're being taken care of things are working out without having to push them so hard so one of the things this month to be aware of is the need to rest sometimes Cancer season is a time when even though your focus is on career, you will be understood more for taking a rest because in cancer season, everybody wants to take a rest. So be gentle with yourself at the same time. Even if you're feeling very passionate and go, 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 you can tip your skills. And that's where you need to balance. Oh, there we go. Just as I said it, justice. The skills of justice. She knows when she's being spoken about. The tip. The skills need to be even. 
you need to be working and resting in a way that keeps you in balance. But what about love? What about your relationships? What about your romantic relationships? Mars and Chiron connecting, giving you that healing space in terms of partnership dynamics, in terms of reciprocity, equality. There's a lot of balancing going on for you this month between love and self and between career and home. The dark and the light, High Priestess. One would forgive you for being quite mysterious. One would forgive you for indulging yourself in the esoteric, in the spiritual side of things, in order to progress with a bit more ease and to feel a bit of a crutch. Page of Wands. Because no matter how much you adult <laughs> in your life, no matter how much you progress in your career, you buy a house or you buy a car or you have conversations about politics, all the things that you regard adults as doing, you know. Um, as much as you have that in you with the fourth house and the tenth house axis of balancing work and career and balancing relationships and doing all these different things and leading and making things happen, you still have to have fun. And maybe in the process you have fun doing what you do, but do take time this month to have a little bit more fun, particularly as we get to Leo season, which is all about fun. But with the High Priestess and the Page of Wands, Libra, ooh, boom, Knight of Wands and the Sun, we progress towards Leo season. It really is about having fun, isn't it? So we have the cardinal energy, we have the adulting, but with the High Priestess, the Page of Wands, the Knight of Wands and the Sun, you're ready to go on a real adventure with the fire energy, with Mars, with the Sun. See, the High Priestess is such a mystery to people. It's, it's, it's very much when there are big question marks over things. You know when you have a feeling? You know when somebody just seems so familiar off the bat or you feel like you've been somewhere before. You know deja vu or serendipity where you just appear to be at the same point of someone or you're thinking about somebody and they flash up on your phone or something like that. Those kinds of serendipities are very clear. Um, being in an eclipse season, a lot of the time, strange things do happen. Um, I know for me, I don't know if it's because I have Venus and Libra, I know for me there were some very peculiar serendipities happened. Very weird um, during the Venus retrograde. And I imagine for you it's the same because it is your ruler. Now that your ruler is direct, you can start to see that certain things are just meant to be. And I think for a lot of you, in that healing process, there is a way of looking back on the past. There is a way of looking back on things with a more detached aspect. You know, when you've healed something, you earn yourself this level of detachment whereby you're not emotionally governed by it. And when you're not emotionally governed by the past, you see it differently. You may not see it completely differently as if you flicked a switch. It, it's more that you have a keener sense of perception, of reevaluation, and you see things differently and you have an understanding. It's like you unlock something that leads you into the next chapter. For many of you, that could be with a fire sign, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Pisces. But we've mentioned all the signs here. It's all very interesting for you, but you're headed towards this. Leo season for you is full of adventure, it's full of creativity, it's full of excitement, it's full of fun, friendship, connections. But don't be a 
afraid of serendipity? Mars being in your partnership sector in terms of um, your relationships, in terms of love, for a lot of you, for a lot of you, you're going to be getting a second go at something, um, particularly in romance, but also in terms of your partnerships, you know, because justice is um, also legal. It's also a legal partnership, you know, a contract. So um, the, the, the Mars energy with your relationships, there are things that are going to be coming back around. So it's very interesting for you at the minute. There are a lot of things that you cannot see just yet because you are taking steps in a direction. And if you were to know what was going to happen, you would do something else. Your love life has an element of healing and an element of mystery, but a lot of passion, a lot of passion. And a lot of bravery as well. A lot of bravery for you going after what it is that you want. Being flirtatious, throwing caution to the wind, going out and meeting people or reconnecting with people or messaging people. Or You've got this real bravery. In fact, the main thing that I got for you was this um, desire energy, this passion energy. And I think there's also, as much as there is this healing aspect, um, it unlocks something in you that's just... Uh, it's lovely. Um, it's really nice to see, actually. It's going to be an interesting month for you. All the cardinal signs are having very interesting months. And for you in particular, Libra, as much as I've given you far too many orders in this video, I said, your career is changing. You're really successful. Enjoy your success, but also rest. You're healing from your love life, and yet really exciting things are about to heal and happen. And you know, I'm giving you... Con it sounds somewhat conflicting, but you know that it's balance right you know it's all about finding the balance and things just saying that the next six months in terms of your relationships in terms of your love life is going to be so interesting um i'm really nosy so i really like to know these things but judgment and the sun suggests that the rebirth the regeneration the things that are coming to be are very positive so I will see you in the extended to jump into it a little bit more. I love you and I'll see you soon. Bye Libra.